Boom. Welcome to the Relentless Podcast. And today we have an awesome episode with a whole lot of very valuable content with my favorite dentist, David from Teeth on Ferry. How you doing, my man? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? Mate, thanks for joining me. Pleasure. I've been trying. You're a busy man That's and it. a busy entrepreneur. I've been trying to get you for a while to come on and we've finally done it, which is really exciting. Yes, sir. But uh, for everyone listening out there, Dave, the man actually did my teeth, which is why or how you and me met. But how I actually first heard about you was... One, two, three, four, nearly nine people had veneers done or some dental work done, fully changed the, their look. And uh, I kept saying, who did your teeth? And everyone kept saying you. And I was like, who the, who the frick is this guy? That's and it, funnily man. enough, they're all from Victoria and you're a, you're a Queensland boy. So uh, I looked you up. We had a chat and uh, this beautiful relationship blossomed from there, didn't it? So it. Word it, of mouth, man. Like It's crazy. Any business, mm. you can't rely on marketing. You can't yeah. rely on... A lot of sources, word of mouth is still big. Hundred percent, it is. Yeah, and I can uh, I can tell that it works very very well for you, which is a credit to you and your business. So um, so congratulations. Thank you. Health healthcare's harder, more more tight regulations around marketing and, and what you can and can't say. So so true. It's still it comes down to word of mouth. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it definitely works for you, and I guess results speak for themselves, which is which is exactly why we're going to have a chat today. So mate, tell us a little bit about where your passion for this game started for dentistry in itself that's a hard one man like passion passion starts off mm. with something that you you're good at or you want to get into yeah you're not passionate about it mm. you talk about an olympic swimmer yeah you know, when they're young they're doing laps yes 4 a.m till 7 a.m mm. yeah you know, back forward back forward mm. you can't enjoy that sometimes right mm. you, you can't that can't be your passion mm. When you start getting good at it, yeah, that's when it becomes your passion. Yeah, when you see the results, when you start getting better and better, mm. that's when something becomes your passion. So yeah, I can relate of, to that. It, it kind of grows over time. Mm. Surely in the gym space, you know, you get in there. It's hard. It's hard mm. to get up at five a.m. Mm. do a session mm. and do that every consistently. Right. Yeah. After a while, though, you get good at it. You start seeing the gains. Yes. That's when it becomes a passion. So that's so true. I suppose initially it was just it was something. It, as a career path, mm. looked good. Yeah, got into it. Yes, started getting better and better. Yeah. That's when it became a passion, and yeah. now it's like um, expanding. You know? Yeah, and it really is. I mean, your business model is fantastic, and I guess a few things I want to cover today is obviously we're going to talk a little bit about health and things like that. But yeah. as an entrepreneur, and this is I interview a lot of entrepreneurs, you are a multifaceted entrepreneur. It was really impressive when we started discussing some of the different ventures you have and just where your mindset's at. It's world class and you can tell just in your business model and how quick it's growing. I mean, even just from the time I've met you, you've already moved shops and grown, um, increased the size of your location, etc. cetera, and, uh, and continuing every day to build and build and build. So it's one thing to be a good good dentist but it's another thing to be a, an excellent entrepreneur and truly good at your craft as well yeah. why do you think you're so good uh it's it's the people you hang around your mentors you, you got to have four or five people yeah that are better than you yes in 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 whatever facet it is so that true. you want to get better at so true right hang around them a lot mm. all right learn their skills mm. and integrate that into your mm. your little personal skill set yes and that's what really drives it you know? yeah so mentors have always been a core thing for you when yeah. did you know that was so valuable when did you realize that oh from from high school mm. you know you, you you have family mm. they become your first mentors yes businessmen in your family business women in your family yes you learn from them, learn the skills, learn the craft. Mm. Then once you get out into the real world, you, you got to find other people, mm. big business people, mm. you know, multi-million dollar companies, mm. people who are driving those, mm. learn from them. Yeah, learn, yeah, yeah. You know, open your eyes yeah. to what you don't know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a lot of the time you, you're just walking around, you don't know what you don't know. So right? true. Mm. So get as much information in as possible. Yeah. Read books, that's great. Mm. You know, listen to podcasts. Mm. Get some mentors. Yeah, so true. I mean, your business is growing rapidly. You're extremely successful. But in the beginning of all business ventures, it's never easy. I mean, people probably look at you now and go, oh, he's so lucky. He's just, you know, he's born for this, whatever. But let's face it, business is challenging and you have to grind hard. And I'm sure you've faced many big hurdles. What was like the first year of business for you like? Was it as challenging as mine was or what was it like for it's, you? It's seven days a week. Mm. That's as simple as that. Yeah. If you're not willing to put in the time, mm. you're not going to get the rewards. Yeah. 
you know, it, I, I tell all the dentists, so anyone who works for me, mm. your earning potential mm. is only limited by your work ethic. Yeah, so true. Right? So yes. the harder you work, the more gains you're going to get. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of people tell me about this work-life balance mm. and, you know, I just want to work three days a week mm. and, you know, hit the beach the rest yeah. of the time and have a really good work-life balance. Yeah. Man, that's fine. Yeah. You're only going to be an employee forever. That's right. If you want to be... Mm. A businessman, mm. businesswoman, entrepreneur, you got to put in the hard yards. Yes, exactly right. Be prepared for the grind. And uh, and you're right. I think a lot of people find that super hard to mentally and emotionally adjust to. You know, everyone yeah. wants to be a great entrepreneur, but not a lot of people are truly willing to sacrifice and be in the trenches and risk and That's and lose and win and all the in-between. It is mm. hard work yeah. without payoff. That's right. Yeah, you got to be willing I love to that you said that. work for nothing. Mm. For a long time. Yes. Yep. Yeah, so true. And not give up. 100%. I mean, yeah. most, I love that you said that because most entrepreneurs going to business, they think year one and year two, I'm going to make a gazillion dollars and I'm set for life. And what people don't realize is, is that business takes years to build to really get the payoff from it. And so I love hearing you say that. I mean, clearly you're incredibly successful now, but uh, but it's true. A lot of people don't realize the pain and sacrifice and the length of time that you need to endure that for as an entrepreneur. You can't just mm. open up your own little protein business and in three months, yes. if you're not making a million dollers, you quit. Mm. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, right? You need so to put true. in the hard yards. It's, it's exactly. years of effort. What are the top three things you'd say to any sort of startup entrepreneur right now wanting to to go for it with all the lessons that you've learned along the way what are sort of the top three uh things you would say to them in order to help them on their journey well we talked about having a mentor mm. yeah number one have have people around you that can mm. support you yeah you know have a, a strong business plan yeah um number two you need to know where you're going where yes. you're headed yes um, and, and just be consistent with everything you do. Mm. The outcome has to be consistent. Consistent in every product you deliver, yeah. every service, mm. every email. Mm. Consistency. Mm, so true. It's not easy to pull off, but when you do, again, it's a world-class product. And I notice that with your customer mm. service as well. So you've got, again, I deal with a lot of different entrepreneurs and businesses, and of course you know I, I run a, a health and fitness chain myself, and customer service is so important. And of 100%. course you, you do such a class act job of customer service what's your philosophy on on customer service and how you treat your clients you need to you need to follow up mm. like essential you need to follow up mm. and a lot of people just don't call back yeah how many companies have you called and you just mm. you don't get the follow-up yeah yeah you, know, you, you don't have to go mm. over and above mm. you just have to be consistent mm. you just have to follow up mm. everything you do talk to talk to them yeah they just they're just customers. They're humans. Yes. Right? Yes. Be nice to them. Mm. Resolve their problems. Mm. There's going to be issues. Yeah. Get back to them. Yes. All right. Yeah. Don't be a Telstra. Don't be a, you know, yeah. put off. You know, <laughs> so you're going to get a lot of bad press, mm. bad comments. All right. So yeah. consistency in everything you deliver and, mm. and just, you know, stay in touch with them. Yeah. Very, very true. Very, very true. I noticed that you guys, um, also, just we're talking tangents right now, but of yeah. course, with your marketing as well, you've got, you've it's like you've got a really organic sort of natural flow of of organic marketing happening, and you've got so many different people posting their results constantly. Clearly, because they freaking love it, like yeah. they're just so stoked with their results. Yeah, yeah. Is that something? Was it always like that, or did that sort of come over time, or how did that it's, sort of start to get a bit? I guess have a bit of virality around it. It's kind of developed over this Instagram era. You know, yeah, for sure. Dentistry is a very visual, mm. um, you know, uh, sort of healthcare area. Yes. So you can't advertise over radio. You can't advertise mm. over a lot of traditional media. You need the visuals, and yes. Instagram gives you that. Yeah. Then you've got all of these patients mm. with all of these followers. That becomes your word of mouth. Then. Yeah. So utilize mm. your customer base, your patient base, mm. to spread the word about your company. Yeah. That's free marketing. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And you can only do that if you do a freaking amazing job, That's which it. luckily in your case you do, my friend, which is Thank awesome. You. Mate, let's talk a little bit about health yeah. because a lot of my audience is, is health and fitness based. A lot of entrepreneurs, but a lot of health and fitness based people. And, uh, and I guess I never really understood previously how crucial mouth hygiene actually was to overall health because 
often if some things are going wrong with your teeth or infections, things like that, it can go down a pretty uh, a pretty bad path. What are some of the biggest issues you find with clients coming in and, and health issues do you sort of pick up on in regards to mouth hygiene? So I, I suppose the mouth is the, the gateway to your mm. body. Mm. What you put in your mouth reflects what's going to happen in your body. Yeah. Okay. So if, if you're getting cavities, if you've got issues with bad breath, if mm. there's, there's things happening there, mm. whatever you're putting in your mouth, that's having effect on your mouth yeah. and then the rest of your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a sign, okay? Yeah. Bad breath is a big one. You know, a lot of the the, the gym people coming mm. in, bad breath, bad oral hygiene. Yes. All right? Yes. A lot of sugary drinks, mm. a lot of um, snacking, mm. things which are very bad, all right, for your mouth. Mm. And there's a lot of controversy around, you know, what, what diet's good for you? Yes. Should you be snacking? When you're bulking up, mm. you're eating every half hour, yeah. hour, right? Yeah. Very bad for your teeth, yeah. all right? They're not designed to take that load over and over every day. Yeah, so all right? true. So we need to implement f more healthcare measures mm. to look after your teeth, all mm. right? If that's a, the, the program you're going with, mm. all right, you need extra help there. Mm. Um, mm. So big ones are, you know, load up on water, stay mm. hydrated. Yeah. Your body's natural defense is saliva, mm. all right? Mm. So when you're dehydrated, you don't produce saliva, that saliva naturally kills bacteria in your mouth, yep. washes away food that gets stuck between your teeth. Yes. All right. It's essential. Without that, mm. you're more susceptible to cavities, mm. bad breath, you know, gingivitis, gum disease, bleeding gums, mm. you know, all the gross stuff. All right. Mm. So mm. staying hydrated, essential. Yeah. Big, okay. big one. And, you know, when you're hitting the gym, you know, you're working out a lot, you're mm. exercising a lot, you become dehydrated rapidly, yeah. all right? Add in, you know, drinking coffee or caffeine drinks as well, mm. maybe energy drinks. That's a, a diuretic that makes you urinate more. Yes. You become dehydrated. Yeah. There's a lot of things there that is mm. affecting your mouth. So stay hydrated, yeah. biggest one. Yeah, right? absolutely. Number mm. two, just hygiene, mm. brushing. Mm. In the morning, as soon as you get up, your mouth's loaded with bacteria, yep. all right? You've been asleep all night. You're not producing saliva. Mm. You need to get rid of those. Mm. Don't go and eat breakfast. Mm. You're swallowing all those bad bacteria, mm. those pathogens, right? Interesting, yeah. Brush your teeth before breakfast. Mm. Big one, all yep. right? Change your routine. Mm. That's going to keep your mouth cleaner, all yes. right? So straight after you wake up, bam, brush your teeth, get into breakfast. You can floss and rinse after if, and brush again if you want to. Mm -hmm. All right, so, and, and just... Getting into the routine of flossing as well. Mm. Yeah, no one does it. Fair call. That's yeah. <laughs> fine. Just do it once a week. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's 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 like the gym. Mm. Yeah. You know, if you just go into the gym and do two sessions a day, mm. you're gonna fall off the edge of the cliff, and, yeah. and you're gonna stop doing it. Right. You you can't s sustain that. Yes. Flossing is just a habit. You need to start slow. Mm. Do it once a week. Mm. Build up once a day. You'll get used to it. Yes. It'll be routine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah. just you, you don't have to go hardcore on it. Mm. Just take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Admittedly, I didn't start flossing until you actually told me to. Nice. In fact, to be honest, I, I rarely focus. Of course, I brush my teeth most days. No, I'm joking. I brush my teeth all the time. But um, but after I obviously met you and you gave me that gift pack and had all the cool stuff in there and yeah, the yeah. whitening and the flossing and all that awesome stuff. Um, and having the conversation around it, I really started to obviously take care of my teeth, especially my new ones because they're so precious. But I didn't realize the importance of flossing. I always brush my teeth, of course, in the morning. Yeah. But how many times would you recommend brushing your teeth for the average person? Are you meant to do it two, three times? Or what do you suggest? Two times a day. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. Flossing once a day before okay. bed. Okay. All right. So again, you're not producing saliva mm. when you're asleep. That's naturally protecting your teeth. So before you go to bed, you need to make sure your teeth and your mouth mm. is just super clean. Mm. All right. Most important time to brush. Yeah. What about in a situation? See, what I find is terrible for my gums and my mouth. I get really sore sometimes and even inflamed is sugar. Yeah. So sugar smashes me for some reason. Like if I have a, a tub of Ben and Jerry's, which everyone watching is, is rare, but when I do, I tend to, especially my back wisdom teeth, they actually get really sore. And so I guess my question is, number one, how detrimental is sugar to your teeth? And number two, would you recommend after having a big binge to brush your teeth straight after to sort of protect that or just still stick to the twice a day protocol? So sugar is the, the food the bacteria use, mm. all right? So the food that we take in, mm. the bacteria in your mouth use, mm. all right? And those bacteria cause holes. Mm. 
they cause bad breath, mm. they cause gum disease, mm. and they particularly like sugar, mm. all right, sugary foods. Yeah. So protein, not so bad. You know, fats, definitely not, right? Mm-hmm. It's the sugars, mm. the, the high carbohydrates. Yeah. So the bacteria turn that into acid. They turn that into you know, sulfur compounds mm. that give you bad breath. So high sugar foods, you should limit, mm. all right? Mm. So that's causing gum disease, mm. holes, mm. bad breath. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, so limit the intake at least you know to once a day if you're having high sugar content limit that sugar to to sort of breakfast or lunch yep. all right now brushing straight after is not ideal mm. all right the bacteria you've just fed them a lot of sugar mm. they produce acid that starts to weaken your enamel mm. so you go through this cycle where your mouth becomes acidic mm. and that's not a good time to be brushing okay you've got to give your saliva time to remineralize the tooth mm. just that outer surface mm. and start killing the bacteria mm. before you brush if you start brushing directly after meals mm. you're going to start getting wear facets in your teeth ah. you, you get grooves wearing around the gum line mm. you start eroding the surface of your enamel mm. it becomes a lot thinner and becomes more sensitive to your mm. teeth all right so give it half an hour after you eat before you brush Wow, good info. Very interesting. And yeah, 100%. I mean, I think it's a great advice all around for not only your mouth health, but also weight loss and keeping those shreds. 100%. Get off the sugar and uh, and at least be, be wary of it. Because again, 100%, I, I feel the the impact of that every single time. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sensitive to sugar in general and uh, and carbs, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, one thing's for sure, it definitely plays a bit of havoc on um, on my mouth. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about bad breath because I think it annoys everyone. I don't know about you, but it annoys the shit out of me. Hopefully it doesn't annoy you too much because you're probably around it a lot. So <laughs> That's it. But it's one in four. One in four of our patients yeah. will have bad breath. Mm. Okay. So things that cause bad breath, it's the bacteria. Yeah. All right. Number one. Yeah. They produce those, as mm. I said, those smelly compounds. Yeah, yeah. Feed them lots of sugar. You're going to have more bacteria. Yes. You're going to have bad breath. Yeah, All absolutely. right. Stay hydrated, mm. number one. Mm. So um, we want lots of saliva in your mouth. If yeah. you've got a dry mouth, bam, you're going to mm. have bad breath. Yeah. All right. You notice it more in the morning. Mm. So everyone says morning breath, right? Yeah, yeah, Again, yeah. you've been asleep all night. You're, you're, you become dehydrated. You haven't been drinking mm. for eight, ten hours mm. during that period. You're not producing saliva. you got morning breath. That's yes. from dehydration, mm. all right? So lots of water. Yeah. Kill the bacteria, yes. all right? So good oral hygiene, brushing, flossing, rinsing gargling? before bed. Does gar- gargling, does gargling yep. good or not? What do you rate that? So bad breath, other other causes a bad breath you know you, you can have from the airways mm, all right mm. so tonsils the nose the lungs chest mm. in chest infections those type of things tonsils in particular mm. you get food trapped around those tonsils which are the, the the glands at the back of the throat there the food gets trapped mm. it gets smelly all right mm. so gargling can help rinse and, and alleviate that mm. smoking Surely none of your listeners are smokers, but <laughs> we know that's going to cause bad breath. Absolutely. It just creates an environment in your mouth that's just a cesspool for bacteria mm. and, and whatnot. That's giving you bad breath. Mm. Um, certain diseases as well. So really important if you do have bad breath, you should be seeing a dentist every mm. six months just to check up on things. All mm. right. So um, things like diabetes, liver issues, mm. kidney issues, all have a specific smell that comes out of your wow. lungs, right? Wow, so interesting. So, mm. you know, uh, you may have noticed, or, or if you've got diabetic friends, mm. um, when they're getting into um, having uh, an episode, mm. they get sweet-smelling breath, all mm. right? So they get built up of different chemicals in their blood, and that comes out the breath, wow. all right? So that can pick up on liver disease, kidney disease, you know, mm. a whole host of issues, wow. gut health, reflux yeah all right a lot of people may not realize it lifting heavy weights you know eating a lot of food mm. they can get reflux mm. all right mm. so you get that acid build up in your throat that gives you bad breath yes all right that acid as well can get into your mouth mm. cause a lot of damage to the enamel mm. all right so really good to get a checkup wow that's very interesting so yeah. general health wise you know that acid reflux as well mm. can cause damage to to your esophagus mm. all right and over time, that can lead to a lot of health issues. Yeah. So good to get checked up. So can you smell the difference in that? Can you, if someone smells someone's breath, you'd be like, dude, you've got 
an issue with your kidneys. L- literally. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't yeah. it? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So different diseases have yeah. different chemical mediators mm. that cause different smells in your breath. Mm. Foods, last one, right? Garlic, onion, a lot of chemical mediators in those ones that, that mm. once you ingest the food, it goes into your bloodstream. Yes. Comes out your lungs. You breathe out those chemicals. Mm. Gives you really bad breath. Yeah. Avoid that. Yeah. Before a hot date or whatnot. Right? So th- those <laughs> are things. You can still enjoy those foods, but yeah. just avoid them if, if you've got issues with bad breath in general. Sure, yeah. Rule yeah. number one, no garlic before a date oh, or during a date, guys. Please, Come on. Stop it. Rule 101. <laughs> now, I want to ask you a question about uh, rinsing and sort of gargling. Yeah. So I often use salt water. Now, I don't know if this is um, good or not, but again, my mum always said to me, wash out your mouth with salt water. And when I get really sick, it tends to sort of help my throat yeah um what do you rate gargling salt water celtic sea salt water compared to like um the green stuff that you get from the pharmacy that's fine mm. you know a, a lot of the pharmacy mouthwashes do contain alcohol mm. all right that's one of the ingredients that kills bacteria mm. but has been linked to mouth cancer mm. so avoid alcohol containing mouth rinses mm, interesting Great the other point. ones Thank you. have menthol and, and and essential oils in them yes make your breath smell nice they mask mm. the the smell but they're not actually doing anything for you ah. salty mouthwash that will kill bacteria Great. right so that is good Great. and we do recommend it for patients you know if they've had a tooth extraction mm. Mm. gently rinsing with salty water that helps keep the area clean Love that. Great strategy. So yeah. maybe I'll gargle with salty water and then a dash of the uh, good smelling stuff just to... At the end. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a really interesting tip. So, I mean, yeah. these, are, these are actually quite fascinating conversations because you don't think about this stuff normally. You don't yeah. know what you don't know, as we That's say. It. And uh, I think people just expect their mouth to sort of clean itself. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you'd probably see that a lot. But... Um, but, um, but yeah, so it's very interesting to get these strategies and, and tips from the man himself. Do you, how many, like, how many times should I be going to the dentist every year? Like, do I go once, twice, three times, or is it a case by case basis? What do you suggest? Case by case. You know, yeah. once a year, if you've got no cavities, mm. no fillings, mm. no issues, mm. once a year. Yeah. All right. For most people, every six months, mm. you get build up of food, plaque, yeah. that, that hard build up behind your teeth. We'll, we'll remove that for you. That's mm. all hardened bacteria and food. Yeah. You want to get that out of your mouth. You don't want to be swallowing that. Is that, that when you sort day. of grind the back of the teeth and we clean it up? Exactly, and, yeah. exactly. So all of that hardened material, that's mm. bacteria, food that's collected mm. over a six-month period. I actually enjoy that process. I don't know if I'm it a feels good or not, but it, it doesn't feel so great. Good after, you just right? like, holy shit. Yeah. It's also very disgusting because you think, oh, my God, is that my mouth? That's it. You don't want to be swallowing that every day, right? <laughs> very true. Very true. So, yeah, it does, it does pay off. Do you feel like bad mouth hygiene can lead to some pretty full-on health issues for people? Have you seen that? Like, do, can it lead to anything really bad or is it just yeah. you know, you get mouth infections? Like, what sort of stuff can happen? Well, the bacteria that cause gum disease, mm. all right, have been linked to heart disease, yeah, have wow. been linked to other systemic health conditions, wow. all right? So... Um, those bacteria proliferating in your mouth mm. can get into your bloodstream. If you're flossing and it bleeds, mm. there's bacteria getting into your blood, all right? Your body's tr- constantly trying to attack those bacteria. Mm. It's on high alert, right? Mm. So you, you're overworking your immune system, mm. all right? So really essential to, as I said, you know, oral hygiene, floss, rinse, mm. to keep that bacterial load to a minimum yeah absolutely absolutely what do you find is the most like what do people come to you most for do people come with a sore tooth or is it you know veneers the new the new thing or is it teeth whitening like where what's your biggest there's, um wow factor right now i suppose there's two things mm. people are, are form and and, and cosmetics mm. or their function yeah so yeah it's it's i haven't had teeth for 10 years mm been chewing with a plastic plate mm. it's really hard mm. can you help me yeah. all right i want to enjoy food again yes or it's i want to look better i want straighter teeth mm. i want wider teeth mm. yeah I, I want to look fresh mm. so we we get a mix of both mm. i was um quite amazed so just we'll talk about the process that i went through with you before, later on but the first thing we did was whiten my teeth yeah my my normal teeth my original teeth real teeth and then uh, and then afterwards of course we did veneers but i was so freaking blown away with the whitening process i couldn't believe the difference in color yeah. like it was absolutely mind-blowing and then you, you when you look back on it, it's pretty embarrassing you're just like you don't realize how 
sort of brown or discoloured they yeah. really are until you sort of compare them to what they can be. And Do you often find that? That's it. And yeah. it's natural. Teeth mm. are meant to be yellow. That's yeah. their natural colour. You know, through through social media, through TV, mm. we've all seen these white yes. smiles and that's what we're all trying to achieve yeah, now, yeah, yeah. which is fine, right? Yeah. So keeping your teeth natural, you can bleach them, mm. all right? So mm. with a peroxide solution, mm. there's a lot of products on the market mm. that do it yourself, mm. Mm. which don't have any active ingredients, so they're not really doing anything for you. Yeah. So you've got to find one with peroxide in it. That's the, the active ingredient that will remove the discoloration from inside yeah. your teeth all yeah. right so yeah. and you know who everyone wants a white smile now mm. it is what it is yeah you know it, it does look good mm. um but it's not unhealthy to have yellow teeth mm. that's naturally how they are yeah absolutely great yeah. point to make great point to make but um but i tell you what i did feel a lot better after i got them white and uh, i was just like i was actually shocked it's sort of i guess it's sort of like when you get a tan you feel a little bit more feel a little bit more special with the tan yeah. don't you but uh, but it does make a really big difference and we'll show some photos later on but uh it was an awesome process to go through let's keep going on the on the food and uh, the nutrition side of things quickly yeah what are some we've spoken about sugar but are there some really big no-nos that we should be conscious of with our teeth now i love coffee and I love a red wine every now and then. I've been drinking a lot less of it lately, but I yeah. do love a, one or two red wines. Are there things like coffee, red wine, obviously sugar's a no-no. What should we be wary of and stay away from? Or what are potential myths that we that don't really matter? I suppose, number one, coffee has caffeine in it. Mm. And red wine, alcohol. Mm. Both diuretics make you urinate a lot. Yeah. You become dehydrated. Got it. It's that dehydration. That does the damage. So that's a big thing. It sounds that's a like big you thing. keep bringing that up. Hydration is huge. Yeah, hydration is huge. Yeah. All right. Keep well hydrated. Mm. Um, yeah. On, on top of the the hydration, um, yeah. Sugar, sugary foods. Mm. Yeah. It's not that they're bad for you. It's just mm. overconsumption of. Mm. Yeah. And regular consumption of. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. As a dentist, I would recommend three meals a day, mm. maximum. Mm. All right, snacking is the worst thing for your teeth. Yeah. Now, if your teeth cannot handle snacking mm. of food, that's got to be a sign that something else is happening in your body. Yes. And there's a lot of information around. Um, what do you mean by not handle? Like hurting or what's not handling? So basically your mouth can recover mm. from these acid attacks. When, when you take in the food, the bacteria create acid and, mm. and proliferate and then the saliva comes in kills all the bugs, mm. and the pH of your mouth, that acidity, mm. goes back to a neutral level. Okay. Now, when your mouth's in that acidic level, mm. that's when it, there's damage being occurring to, to the enamel, to the gums, mm. bacteria growing there. All right? So yes. your body or your mouth can recover from three meals mm. a day. Mm. If you start snacking in between, your mouth is continually in this acidic state. Oh, wow. Interesting. That's what's causing damage. Mm. And there's a lot of talk of dieting around mm. fasting, the benefits of fasting and whatnot. And mm. and really, yeah, it, it comes down to not snacking. Yes. Yeah, you know, I've had dietitians with the worst teeth because yeah. they recommend snacking to yes. everyone. And that's what they do. I get chefs come in. They're tasting food all day. Mm. They're not swallowing it, but it's in their mouth. Yes. All right. They've constantly got an acidic mouth. Mm. Really bad for overall mm. health as well. Chewy. Chewing, chewing gum. gum's good. Stimulates saliva. Oh, really? Okay. Right. Sugar-free sure. chewing gum. Mm. Stimulates saliva. That's there to protect your teeth. Yes. Good for you. Yes. Okay. And obviously, what about drinking soft drinks that are no-go sugar? But having Keep constant fluid in your mouth, does that activate anything we should know about? Or Keeping the sugary drinks to meal times. Mm. In between, drink water. Mm. If you want to drink wine, if you want to have those sugary drinks, mm. limit it to those times when you're eating. Yeah. Because as I said, your body and your mouth can recover from that. Yeah, absolutely. That, that acid attack from the sugary drink or the sugar in the 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 drink, the food, mm. your mouth can can recover from it. Awesome, awesome. Now we definitely recommend good hygiene. It's very important. But I know what a lot of people are after is that look, right? Yeah. And again, that's how you and me met. I, that's we, it. we spoke about my teeth. Admittedly, vulnerable moment, everyone. I never liked my teeth. I always had a huge issue with my teeth. My mum couldn't afford braces when we were younger, so it was all, always that thing where I wanted to fix them but I couldn't, and yeah. and then I just you know forgot about it or whatever. And so I was so excited to come see you and get these done, and we'll show some of the photos shortly. But um, but this is something that so many people are after right now, and I 
have noticed more and more and more, even before I got mine done, that it was just like nearly every second person's got veneers. Yeah. It's just, it's so common these days. Yeah. Let's talk about that. When did that happen? When did all of a sudden everyone have veneers? Like, was that like in the last four years, three years? Like, what, it's, what's it's your been, take? It's been building. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always been available mm. to people, all mm. right, for, for many years. Yes. But I think living on the Gold Coast, especially, mm. yeah, it's a lot more prevalent. It yeah, is that, up here for the, sure. The, the lifestyle and the look that people want. Yeah. All right. Now, it is a cosmetic procedure, mm. so it, it does come with risks. Mm. Anytime you cut into a tooth, there's a risk of damaging the tooth, the nerve mm. issues there. All right. Mm. But overall, there are options there where we don't need to cut into teeth. We just stick the veneers straight on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, in your case, teeth were quite crooked, overlapped. We had to cut a little bit away mm. to fit the veneers on. Mm. All right. But the result is going from crowded crooked, uneven teeth, mm. instant straight teeth, exactly. basically. Yeah, right. it's so, so quick as well. It's quick. It doesn't last forever. Mm. You, know, you can get 10, 15 years out of a set of veneers, maybe longer, up yeah. to 20 years. If you All take right. care of them. If you take care of them. Mm. But it's not going to last forever. You will have to replace them eventually. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what are some of the things people can do to improve their smile. So we've gone over some great info around mouth hygiene. Yeah. But yeah. I know you offer a bunch of different things. I mean, you offer whitening and, you know, you can put the caps on or get your teeth fully done. Like yeah. what are the different things that we can do to, to adjust and really improve our smile? Just getting straight teeth, mm. number one, mm. always been you know, a, an issue for a lot of people, yeah. having those crowded, crooked teeth. Invisalign is a great option. So yeah. the clear mouth guards that you wear mm. pretty much all day, every day, mm. for between six and 18 months, slowly, gradually straightens your teeth. Is that the standard now? Because I remember growing up, everyone had the big, chunky bolt-ons and like yeah. you get picked on and whatever is that just gone now or what's the what's the go with braces it's, it, the braces are still there mm. especially for the younger kids yeah all right with really major issues mm. all right where we need a lot of movement invisalign is good for you know teens upwards Got it. um it's there's compliance is a big issue there yes. all right it's up to you to wear them mm. when you do that with a, a teenager or below yeah yeah we're, we're relying on yeah, kids to to maintain it, look after it. That's where braces are mm. have a have a place. They're fixed on. Yes, they've got no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to take responsibility for That's that it. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you got Invisalign, and uh, and and that was an option as well. We spoke about that, and yeah. I said, no, nah, I want to go straight to the good stuff. Still so an was, option. Still yeah, an option yeah. for your bottom teeth. True. So you can straighten the top mm. or the bottom individually. Yeah, nice. All right, so, you know, if you, if you just want the instant smile at the top mm. and happy to gradually straighten the bottom ones, yeah. that's an option as well. Yeah, great. What else can people do? What else do you sort of help people with? The Zoom in chair whitening. Mm. Yeah, that's probably the, the best product in the market to whiten your teeth. Yeah. All right, so 90 minutes in the chair, yeah. bleach them, get them as white as possible. Mm. And then you can maintain that at home with, with just some gel. How long All does right. that last for? About 12 months. Wow. Yeah. That's Sometimes impressive. longer. Yeah. All right. And you top it up every now and then. You can do that mm. at home. Mm. All right. Then obviously the veneers, yeah. crowns. Yeah. All right. So where a veneer is just the front surface of the tooth being covered, mm. a crown covers the entire tooth. Mm. So if you've got a lot of fillings, really broken down teeth, mm. we can cover the whole thing with a, a crown. Mm. All right. That makes it stronger. It's mm. going to last a lot longer. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Very interesting. So again, I, I was blown away with the teeth whitening. I can't, uh, I can't stress that enough. And I guess I loved... I love the white teeth. I just thought yeah. it was so it was so cool to get the, the fully white teeth done. But I think we should um, – I want to run through some photos because in yeah, my yeah. industry, I'm all about before and after That's photos. It, and it just may, it does blow your mind. And, look, I'm also going to say when you sent me my before and after photos of my teeth, I was like, oh, my God, I want to climb under uh, the, the bed for a second. But let's go, let's go to the uh, extreme sets, Jay, shall we? And have a look at some of these these before and after photos and talk through them. So this is a functional kind of patient. Mm. You know, someone who yeah, has not been able to eat properly for a long time. So we're trying to restore... What causes this? A lot of factors. Mm. You know, over the years, you know, neglect, mm. not, not maintaining with brushing, yeah, yeah. flossing, rinsing, yeah. bad diet. So kids, stay off of sugar, things. floss. This, this is what we're talking about. And, and the, the aim is to keep your teeth... Yeah. Until you're 100, right? Yes. You don't want to have dentures. They're horrible things. Mm. You don't want to have teeth like this 
Dentures are false teeth? False teeth. Yeah. Plastic teeth. My nan always spits hers out. Never a fan of those. They scare the shit out of me every yeah. time. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll so stay away from those. So restoring the function is really important. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, these were crowns on all the teeth, upper okay, teeth. Okay, so can we go to the to the next slide? And this is the, res- this is the after. This is the after result. So what a huge... This guy must have kissed your feet afterwards, surely. This was done by our um, one of our dentists, William. Wow. Uh, Dr. Evans. So Stoked with the really result. Really good work. Uh, isn't you know? it amazing? And it doesn't always have to be Hollywood white. You yeah. Know, people in their 50s and 60s, they're happy with just yes. natural looking colors. Absolutely. And All right. So this is a functional patient. Mm. Um, but the end result is they can eat properly. Yeah. They're not in pain. Yeah. You know, that last, last shot, you could see mm. how worn the teeth were. Mm. Every time you eat, you'd be in pain. Absolutely. You know, sensitive, painful teeth. Yeah. I want to ask you a question quickly. So, I mean, that that's dramatic. That's it. It's inc- like mind-blowing. If you, if that was you, I mean, even with mine, which we'll show shortly, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Yeah. And I what I noticed was my confidence levels definitely increased. Like, I just wanted to smile more because yeah, it looked good. And, uh, and and it felt good as well. Yeah. How, what are the psychological effects that you see? I mean, again, let's let's be real and raw about it. In my game as well, yeah, yeah. I love helping people transform. Yes, because they're happy with their look, but it's about the internal effects that yeah, yeah. I get blown away by. They've got more confidence. Their relationships improve. Yeah. So many things change. What what are some of the things that you notice with that? Um, well, people get a job. Mm. They're like, oh man, I got that raise. Wow. You know, I got married. I found wow. a girlfriend, a yeah. boyfriend. Yeah, massive cha- life-changing yes. experiences. Yes. All right? Not all down to their teeth, though. But in psychology, there's a lot of studies mm. and a lot of tests on the effects of smiling. Yes. All right? So the act of smiling mm. will have an effect on the chemicals in your brain mm. and will make you feel happier. Mm. So just as an exercise every morning, mm. look in the mirror and smile for a minute. Mm. You will release those happy chemicals yeah. you will feel happier mm. so if your smile is something you're proud of and you're smiling more psychologically you're going to feel better yeah I, I fully back what you've just said i i actually practice that strategy just as a state changer so yeah. if i'm feeling a bit flat or i'm annoyed or whatever it may be i force myself to f- smile just to again release yeah. those chemicals and endorphins to shift my That's mood it, and this isn't hearsay mm. this is actual this is fact, documented facts this exactly is science scientific. right so it's it's crazy mm. what effect it can have on your your emotional state yeah and i think also the point you just made about getting getting a job or a raise or whatever it may be as non-pc or as, as harsh as it may sound i guess the way your teeth look or your smile does actually play a role in how people perceive you. And I think 100%. and I think you you know that deep down and then when that changes, I think you actually notice the you know, people notice it and they yeah. respond differently to you. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't surprise me that you said people get a raise or get that job or whatever it may or get married for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, people wanna people judge you nice teeth. In that, <laughs> that first thirty seconds they do, of interaction, yeah, right? They're scanning your face. Mm. They're they're looking for things. All right. And yes. If you've got those ugly, broken down brown mm. teeth, mm. the K between them, yeah, there's a judgment call that's been made. Yeah, whether it's right or wrong, yeah, that's human nature. It's an unfortunate right? truth, isn't it? That's and it. We're, we're not going to, you know, beat around the bush. It is what it is. Yeah. So again, it does make a huge impact. Now I'm going to ask you a personal question. Yeah, yeah. You're a teeth man, right? You're around it all day long. Every Are day. you a teeth Nazi? Are you like walking on the street going, "Oh my god, dude, that teeth, that guy's teeth." It's it's pr- pretty much all you look at, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, Do you go like, straight for people's I, teeth? Like I'm I'm not here to to lecture people. Like yeah. if you come in, if you don't want to brush your teeth, mm. that's up to you, man. Yeah. I've given you the information. Mm. Like I'm not going to lecture you about mm. how to maintain it. I'm just going to give you, you know, the the information, the yeah. facts, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I really want you to do the best, right? Yeah. I so, think we should start calling you the breath whisperer. Have you ever gone to the supermarket and the, the guys just had bad breath? And you're like, hey, dude, uh, you, well, you've got uh, you've pe- got a bit of a problem with man. If people <laughs> if people are leaning back when they're talking to you, yeah, yeah. you know, if, if they're like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. starting to lean back, you've got an issue there. Pick right? up on it, team. It's it's hard to you can't smell your own breath, yeah. right? All right, you, you smell receptors, get used to the bad mm. smell, so. Mm. Ask someone else. Yeah. All right? You know, or go see your dentist. Ask them. Ask a friend. Yeah. Call a friend. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I if, love that. And if it's embarrassing, yeah, go see a dentist. We deal with it every day. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you're very professional about huh. it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Again, this is this is crazy before and after. So again, wow. Yeah, functional and cosmetic. Is he does he miss is he missing, missing teeth? teeth. There? Yeah. So what we do is bridges or implants mm. where the missing teeth are. Mm. So 
again, you know, this this is going to be life changing for someone. Yeah, and and people put up with it for decades. Mm, mm. They don't realize people don't know what they don't know. Yes, and they don't realize that we can help this. Mm. We can correct it. We so can fix true. it. Yeah. All right. There's there's almost nothing we can't fix. Mm. It's so true. People do just get used to it and they settle. Yeah. I had this conversation with my mum. So my, when I got mine done, my mum was like, oh, my God, I've always wanted to get them done. I said, well, once COVID ends, I'm going to fly you up and we'll get them done for yeah, sure. Yeah. And um, because she's the same. She's just had them. Just puts up with it. And her. just put yeah. up with it yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, wanted to change it but didn't take action on it. Yeah, yeah. I think probably people not knowing, I think there's still a bit of a fear around dentists. Like if you, if you don't regularly go, maybe yeah. people are scared. So something like this where we get to show people – the before and after or even following you on instagram is probably a, a great first step because at least you get to see there's humans there yeah, yeah. you're a nice guy you're not a scary dentist with a drill yeah. times and have changed exactly now. they it's, have it's, it's digital it's yeah. 3d x-rays it's 3d scans oh the technology is crazy it's by insane, the way right? isn't it when you did my teeth and you did those models 3d printed and models, and you showed me what it would look yeah, like the color grading yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. so it's different to what it was even five years ago mm. yeah technology has moved yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, get in and see what's available. They don't give lollipops to kids anymore in dentists? Nah, no. That's no. a smart move yeah. based on the information you've just go. given me. <laughs> you won't see that on Teeth on Fairy, that's for sure. Okay, so this guy got veneers and... Um, crowns, and crowns, bridges, veneers. Yeah. Yeah. In- so a bit incredible. of a mixture there. Yeah, amazing. All right. So the next one, don't go on there yet, Jace. Don't go on there yet. The next one we're going to show is mine. And I wanted to sh- share my experience as well because... All right, so first of all, when we did it, I was a little bit nervous because I don't go to the dentist a lot. And so I probably did have a little bit of fear about what you're going to do hacking into my mouth or was it going to be painful or whatever. As I mentioned, I think about nine nine or so people I'd, I'd met previously had, had gone with you. Yeah. All of them said, no, nah, it didn't hurt, but I just didn't believe all of them because um, because I I'm, I'm tend to be a little bit cynical sometimes. But I was actually super shocked, number one, it was really quick. Number two, I actually didn't feel anything. And I know for some people it probably would get sensitive and hurt, yeah. maybe. I don't know, you, you can answer that. But for me, I actually didn't feel a thing. I know yeah. you jabbed me with some <laughs> sedative or whatever. Yeah. But afterwards as well, it wasn't even really sensitive. I was back in the game eating sushi within a day or so. It was yeah, awesome. yeah. Every, yeah. Everyone's different. People mm. have different recovery times. Um, but we do give you anesthetic there to mm. make everything numb. Which so I did appreciate. Gonna, you're not going to feel anything. That's right. Yeah. All right. So it's it's you're not in excruciating pain. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uncomfortable like mm. any cosmetic procedure. Mm. Yeah. You know, if you get your nose done. Yeah. You, there's going to be a period after where yeah it's going to be a little bit sore. Yeah. And it's going to recover. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. It's the same with your teeth. Yeah. All right. Let's reveal mine, shall we? A little bit embarrassing, guys, but let's go for it. I should have. Sh- you didn't tell me to shave on that day, mate. Come yeah. on. God. A little bit of growth there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my before the top. Look at those chompers, hey? And then the below, which is looking, it's like shining. It's like glistening on the on the bottom one. I love that. They're glowing, man. Yeah. So what did you think of my teeth? Give me some give me some immediate feedback. I don't care how harsh it is. Go and grill me if you need to. Yeah, colour's the big thing that stands out. Yeah. Number one. Mm. You can see. The it's a huge difference, though. Massive. What grade did I go? Did I go the second brightest? You've gone I? the brightest. Oh, the brightest. You've gone yeah, the cool. brightest. All right. Everyone so knows I like to go extreme. You, you, you all don't, out. You don't have to go that white. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a spectrum there to yeah, choose yeah. from. Yeah. All right. Um, the, the crowded teeth, you, you know, it's quite overlapped mm. there's a really short front tooth that's been built up with some filling mm. pointy canines i got that knocked out one time there a we bit go of a scuffle when i was younger naughty never fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um just evening out that smile just getting it level just getting everything mm. you know consistent in color shape yeah. yeah it makes a huge difference so um and and they're a little bit off center they're mm. sort of tilted a little bit so we we corrected that as well 100 percent. but as i mentioned before this was always a thing for me i don't like I ne- of course i never spoke about it but it was just always if i changed anything on me my teeth it was yeah. always my front teeth and when i was younger the the, be- the two front ones actually stood out a lot more so it looked like a big chomper machine so yeah. they, they were quite prevalent so I do want to thank you, my friend. I am stoked with the result. Let's go to the good-looking model photo at the end there. My tan, I got a new tan. You didn't give me the tan, but but I got it just to <laughs> just to look good. But the smile's so different, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't 100%. it crazy, the difference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, it didn't even hurt. And again, I want to point out how quick it was as well. So w- the average time, we went in, to, so just for people to understand, we went in, for one consult to whiten it, didn't we? Yeah. It was like the the initial one to yeah. get it bleach all bleached. Take it. photos, 
take our 3D scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then after that, what, what's the next step that we went through? We prepared the teeth. Yeah. So made it all numb there, cut all the old fillings out, what we had to. Yeah, so that was the, the first more intensive one, wasn't it? Yeah, then yeah. we put on those temporary ones. So mm. you, you can see before even we cut into the teeth, we yeah. can try on some temporary veneers. Mm. You can see what it's going to look like. 100%. So, so try it before you buy, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The third final visit, two weeks later, mm. we glued them all in. Yeah. So we were all done. And that was so fast. I was in and out, I think it was an hour and a half. Yeah. I don't want to set time limits for everyone. I don't know if you do that or not. But I was like, I thought it was going to be a half a day. No, nah, you're not there all day, yeah, yeah, it was so quick. I was yeah. just in and out, ready to go. That's it. Drooling a little bit afterwards, but that's to be expected, that's expected. after getting jabbed in the mouth. But um, the result, again, was freaking amazing. Uh, and I was stoked. I was, I was uh, admittedly showing everybody posting it i was um sh my mum was actually absolutely jealous so we'll definitely be getting her to come up and nice. visit you but uh but again i want to thank you man i did really enjoy it which is why i wanted to get you on the show and in regards to what we do we help transform people's bodies their mindset and i love these little uh, sort of extra elements that people don't really think about often hygiene mouth hygiene and of course being able to transform your smile is, is a huge thing as well yeah. so it's um it's, it's really awesome to see and then of course we started talking and you're also going to be uh, been coming on the show. You're going to feature on the TV show as well, which is going to be really exciting. Yes, so I want to thank you for that too, sponsoring the show. Yeah, pleasure. mate, it's going to be an absolute blast, Can't and wait, uh, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So again, I want to thank you for that. What are three simple things our audience can do to improve the aesthetics? Now, what would you recommend as a either beginner or going all the way? What are the three biggest things to, to recap? So yeah, hygiene. You want mm. the teeth to be clean. Mm. You don't want bleeding, puffy mm. gums. Yeah. Number two, whiten. Mm. Get them whiter, looking lighter, fresher. Yeah. And three, straighter teeth. Yeah. They're the big cosmetic things. Straighter, whiter, clean teeth. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, I agree with that 100%. Mate, what can people do in order to come and, come and visit you? Do you do free consults or? Free consults. Mm. You can book online yep. via our website. Mm teethonferry.com mm. um, via Instagram, mm. all online, easy to book, mm. free consults. We do virtual consults as well. Yeah. So if you want to book a FaceTime call or a Zoom oh, call. Oh, that's amazing. Interstate clients, we get a lot oh. of people. Is that new or is that like a COVID thing that you, you pivoted no, or has that always been a thing? Just just for, for the interstate patients, you that's know. That's great, it's, yeah. It's, we're, we're, we get a lot of people from Sydney, Melbourne, mm. from Perth and Adelaide even. So mm. um, get the consult done over with make sure they're suitable for yeah. veneers um, and then when they come over we spend a week week and a half get all the work done mm, yeah i love that and you're saying a lot of people which i think is great by the way they do the the holiday procedure they come up from victoria or wherever and yeah. they um they spend a week or so here it's, and enjoy themselves and it's yeah. a more affordable mm. you know the it, not that there's anything against the the dentists in other states mm. but yeah, rents are higher in Sydney. Mm. They've got high bills to pay. We, ah, great point. All right, so mm. we can do a more affordable product that's made here on mm. the Gold Coast. Mm. Um, we warranty our work. Mm. We we you can use your health fund as mm. well. Afterpay. Afterpay, zip pay. What's the what's the average? You've got a great insurance. package for veneers. It's what's the average package you do? So for the teeth whitening, mm. cleaning, mm. X rays. Um, the eight porcelain veneers on mm. the top and uh, a, a night guard, a splint to, to protect your teeth. Yeah. Just make sure if you're grinding at night that, mm. that we're not going to damage your, your nice new veneers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 7900 Super affordable. And yeah. again, afterpay or whatever. Afterpay, you zip, can do. 12 months, interest yeah. free. Do most people use afterpay? Is that, a, is that a um, most common? Zip money and hum, big yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a multitude we we accept you know denti care and mm. a whole host of them so. yeah incredible incredible yeah, yeah. now people have to follow you on instagram because again the before and after if you like mine yeah, <laughs> and you scroll like, through there's oh there's, there's so heaps, many uh, there's yeah so many. and a lot of high profile people go to you i just want to point out not saying that i'm one of them although I am very proud there, to be. Mate. I'm, I'm very proud to be <laughs> part of that gang. But a lot of really high prof profile people go to you, which is how I heard about you in the first place. So I think that speaks in itself that um, that a lot of important people are coming to. 
to you, the man, to get their, their it, teeth man. done, which is a trusted a trusted thing. So, again, man, I'm really excited. So go over to the Instagram, check that out, follow it. Have it just, just have a, a look at some of the before and after photos because it's worth looking at. It's actually very entertaining just because it's like, wow, look at the difference. Lots of it's information there on mm. the stories and whatnot, you know, yeah. the, the packages, the, the process. If you want to know more, mm. just... Just DM us. Yeah, know, absolutely. We'll go through it with you. Hundred percent, mate. What does the future hold for for you and Teeth on Fairy? I know you do a lot of things. I mean, you're you're a bit of a mad entrepreneur, and it's a, it's awesome to see. What does the future hold for you and your business, and, and sort of where you're going with this? Uh, yeah, I'm working on a payments platform for healthcare. Wow. So that's probably the biggest one that yeah, you know, hopefully we'll be launching early next year. Yeah, amazing. Just an alternative to private health insurance. Mm. You know, a, a lot of people take out those policies. Yeah. You don't get much benefit out of it. Mm. All right. So just a more uh, equitable mm. way for mm. people to access healthcare, mm. dentistry, physio, glasses, mm. and make it more affordable for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. So that'll be the next big thing. Yeah, it's huge. Mate, I want to thank you for joining me on the show. You've been an absolute pleasure to have. Pleasure. Great info. I mean, again, some of this stuff I had no idea. So thank you for sharing. Guys, make sure you go over. Teeth on Fairy's website is? Teethonfairy.com. F-E-R-R-Y. Beautiful. And your IG? Teeth on Fairy. So simple. I um, love it. Keep it simple. Legend. Excellent. Thank you for coming on, my man. And I'll be coming to see you soon. Same with my mum very shortly. Nice. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.